Well, friends, welcome to the Canadian Professional Rodeo Hall of Fame there. Well, it's not the Cal Nash Center, and that's where we're located. But today, for all through the Canadian Finals Rodeo and CFR 44, we have a little piece of Canadian Pro Rodeo history right here in the Edmonton Oilers dressing room here at Northland. So let's go for a little tour through and see what we can find. We look to the wall, and you know it's pretty cool. Some of the old chaps from Miss Rodeo Canada and some of their attire that they've worn throughout the years. Pretty exciting to have some of that and them be a part of what is the CPRA or the Canadian Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame. As we carry on, you're going to see a lot of interesting things. Old contestants, jackets, saddles, as well as some bareback rigging, some bull ropes, and you know what? We look here in front of us, 1950, the CPA, the Canadian Pro Association, the all-round champion, Wilf Gerlitz. We see, you know, one of the Gerlitzes here who is competing for his very last year, so it's pretty exciting to have Tanner Gerlitz with us here this year as we see all of Wilf's hardware up here. One of the great things, of course, a pair of shops that Dwayne Danes had wore and a bronze that he got when he was Cowboy of the Year. As we carry on, there's a pretty cool picture behind me right now celebrating 44 years. 44 years of the Canadian Finals Rodeo. Every one of the posters is pictured right there. And what an awesome way to celebrate the end of an era here at Northlands. It's pretty awesome to see all these great things inside of here. We're just going to take a quick walk around, see what we can see, and you never know who you're going to run into. Miss Rodeo Canada, the former crown they used to wear from 1989 till 2005, as well as a pair of the coveted Cloverdale Spurs that were presented to Miss Rodeo Canada over the years. So pretty cool that a lot of our rodeos contribute to the Miss Rodeo Canada legacy look at that a recognition plaque from Dwayne Erickson the legendary media writer for the Calgary Herald and many other rodeo publications so we walk around well a legend in his own right and one of the great people that helped work start and make what the Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame is Jim Dunn one of his buckles as well as one of his bareback riggins Well, another living legend in our rodeo game, and Harold Manderville. There's a photo and one of the winning checks that he ever won. Pretty awesome to see a $1,000 check. And that was written a long time ago. See if I can get down there and see when it was. I can't quite see. But if you look up on the walls, we have all the people that have been inducted either into Hall of Fame or in what we call our Legends category. Earlier this year, we take someone like Lester Garnett and have him in there. Someone like Gerald Hoover Hayes, along with Kirk Thompson, Brian Whitlow, Dwayne Bruce, Ted Glazier, and then all the people inducted into the Hall of Fame. And Wow. The newest board member about to hit the big screen member of the Canadian Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame Board of Directors. There's Wayne Powell. He's manning the ship today. We're glad to have him with us. Some of the cool things, of course, a temporary location. You can visit the Canadian Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame at the Cal Nash Center up in Pinoca, but what an awesome opportunity to get a glimpse into 44 years of history of Canadian professional rodeo. All sorts of contestants. Here's a pretty cool one. Bob Robertson, a legendary cowboy in our game, and back numbers that he has from the 70s. Back when President Earl was just a wee lad. Well, one of the first, look at that, 1974, the first year, so... I'm lucky enough to join you on the board of directors, and uh, you're our president, and what a great opportunity for us to 
I guess, celebrate 44 years in the last rodeo here in Northlands. Well, I think I'm lucky enough to be on the board with you, Mike. Come on, man. You know better than that. Yeah, no, this is a marvelous thing. Like when, when Northlands asked us to do it and participate with them, it was an instant yes. It was just a matter of how do we configure it, what do we do, and it all came together really well. Well, and if people want to come down, I can tell them all throughout CFR. Make sure you pop down here, have a look inside the room, because this is just a, a small glimpse, just a little snippet of what you'd find inside the Hall of Fame. Tiny, tiny. It was hard to pick because we couldn't pick everything. So we had to pick and choose a few things here, a few things there. And, yeah, thank goodness it's a nice representation. But it it's, yeah, peanuts compared to all the good stuff that's up in Pinoca. <laughs> it is. Well, thanks for doing this, Earl. We're going to... You know, we're going to let people see this, and hopefully they come down and see it. You want to hear a tidbit? Okay. I just learned I learned something last night. You Dwayne, learned something. Dwayne Danes was in the room, and he was looking at, the, at his shops and at his Cowboy of the Year, and he said, you know what? I, mean, I said, no, obviously not. And he goes, those shops are the ones that I, that I had on when I got hurt. Huh. He says, you look at them, you can see where they cut them up <clears throat> to get them off. Well, that's amazing. That is a piece that's, of rodeo history. And that talk about heartwarming. Oh, and here, definitely. what does he do? He lets us have him in the Hall of Fame. Well, you know, one of the great rodeo families, the Danes family, and you'll find a bunch of them if you look on the walls in here. It's just, it's awesome to have them with us. Very much so. Well, thanks for doing this, Earl. Hey, Mike, anytime, man. Thank you. Well, friends, take the opportunity. Come down and see us here at our temporary outpost for the Canadian Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame, all brought to you by our friends at Highwood Distillers. A big thank you to them. They've been producing some of the finest spirits, and you know what? They are the longest-running craft distillery in Alberta. Make sure you visit them as well.